The Real Housewives of Orange County Season 10. The 10th season of The Real Housewives of Orange County, an American reality television series, was broadcast on Bravo. It aired June 8, 2015 until November 12, 2015 and was primarily filmed in Orange County, California. Its executive producers are Adam Corpel, Alex Baskin, Douglas Ross, Gregory Stewart, Scott Dunlap, Stephanie Boyovan and Andy Cohen. The Real Housewives of Orange County focuses on the lives of Vicky Gumbelson, Tamara Judge, Heather Dubra, Shannon Bedor and Megan King Edmonds. It consisted of 24 episodes. Production and crew. The renewal of the 10th season of The Real Housewives of Orange County was announced in January 2015. In May 2015, the official premiere date, cast and trailer were revealed. The season premiere under construction was aired on June 8, 2015, while the 19th episode Baptism by Fire served as the season finale and was aired on October 12, 2015. It was followed by a three-port reunion that aired on October 19, October 26 and November 1, 2015, a Brooks Tell-All special hosted by Andy Cohen and a Secrets Revealed episode which both aired on November 12, 2015, which marked the conclusion of the season. Adam Coppell, Alex Baskin, Douglas Ross, Gregory Stewart, Scott Dunlop, Stephanie Boven and Andy Cohen are recognised as the series' executive producers. It is produced and distributed by Evolution Media. Cast and Synopsis All five wives featured in the ninth season returned for season 10, however Lizzie Rolsick returned in a recurring role and not full-time. Season 9's recurring cast member, Danielle Gregorio, departed the series and did not return for season 10. Joining the series in the 10th season is Megan King Edmonds, the third wife of baseball superstar Jim Edmonds. Edmonds is described as sexy and opinionated as well as a blonde bombshell. Shannon Beedor deals with the revelation of her husband David's affair and the two go to counselling and work on their relationship with each other and their children. Vitor also works to repair her broken relationships with Heather Dubrow and Tamar Judge. Vitor finds herself in drama with newcomer Edmonds over an unwanted phone call. Debra continues to take control of the new house being built, also releasing a sparkling wine named after her daughter, Colette. Debra feels disconnected and unappreciated by her husband, Terry. Judge and her husband, Eddie, decide to spend time away from working together to improve their relationship. Judge contributes financially to her son's move to Orange County upon learning of his wife's pregnancy, however, knowing Eddie would not approve, she does so secretly. Sarah gives birth during the season, making Judge a grandmother. Judge forms a new connection with her faith and later gets baptised. Edmonds helps raise her stepdaughter because her husband's former wife, Leanne Edmonds Horton, is ill with cancer. Edmonds struggles with the idea of being too much of a parent or not enough and ending up as the friend. After filming while the season was airing, Horton lost her battle to cancer. Vicky Gunvalson and her boyfriend Brooks Ayers deal with his diagnosis of cancer after he moves in with her. At Bedor's house for a game night, Gunvalson receives news about the passing of her mother and the wives gather around her to support her, including guest and former wife Gina Cure. Gunvalson heads to Chicago to mourn with her family. Throughout the season, I's cancer diagnosis and the integrity of it played a huge part. It all began when Judge arranged a lunch with her psychic who informs Judge, Dara and Edmonds that he doesn't believe I is as ill. Throughout the season, the accusations and speculations fly around Orange County, causing all the women to be involved, as well as Gunvalson's daughter Brianna. Judge is forced to choose a side when her loyalty to Gunvalson is questioned, however Judge refuses to be made to look like a fool. The credibilities of Deborah and her husband are put on the line when they are brought into I's alibi. Bedor and Gunvalson's friendship breaks down when Bedor's loyalty is questioned by Gunvalson even after Bedor has supported the couple with I's diagnosis. Bedor remains loyal until Gunvalson is caught speaking of Bedor's marriage and the affair. Edmonds constantly questions what she believes is a lie. Edmonds has knowledge in the situation due to her husband's former wife is currently dying of cancer. Edmonds also endeavours to uncover the truth through a search of clinics, phone calls and even contacting Aya's ex-partners. Van Vossen publicly dresses down Edmonds when she learns of her actions, however, Edmonds is undeterred and continues investigating. Things come to a head in the final episode of the season, in which the ladies confront Gunvalson at Judge's baptism, and Gunvalson infamously compares the ladies' quest for the truth regarding Ayers to Jesus Christ's crucifixion. At the reunion concluding the series, Gunvalson reveals she doesn't believe Ayers has cancer and that she was lied to. Also during the reunion, Edmonds reveals that her husband's ex-wife, who was dying of cancer during the filming of the season, had since passed away. During the Brooks Tells All special hosted by Cohen, Ayers reveals he and Gunvalson are no longer together.